I'm Dr. L.H. Manjunath. I'm the executive director of Shri Kshetra Dharmasthala Rural Development Project. Dharmasthala Rural Development Project uh, works in the sphere of co community organization and helping them with access to finance, access to technology, access to capacity building, and then market. Well, when we say uh, development dialogue, it's, 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 it's networking. Networking between people who believe in similar ideas, which is to create social entrepreneurs in the development sphere. Well, like I said, um, we have been partnering uh, Deshpande Foundation and in the development dialogue from uh, almost the very beginning. Uh, so, uh, and in fact, my teammates have also partnered and they have come and attended uh, uh, the development dialogue each year. So every time uh, one of my colleagues have, uh, has come here, uh, he has picked up a point or two uh, from networking. And that has a good, uh, I mean, stood in good stead uh, uh, for the organization, I would say. Well, uh, it might be interesting for you to know uh, that in spite of, in spite of uh, the, what the government has done over the last one decade for financial inclusion, the financial exclusion is quite, quite large. Uh, and uh, after the demonetization of rupees 500 and 1000 rupee notes, uh, people in rural areas are put to a lot of hardship to understand uh, the technology used in managing money in the soft farm. Uh, the very, very crucial in this would be to uh, have everybody an account in the bank, so which is of course all about financial inclusion. I think uh, development dialogue can work with doctors. Uh, I mean, I don't know how, how you can do that, but then you can work with doctors to establish more and more centers up in North and Northwestern Karnataka uh, in the sandbox so that uh, the, the affordable services are available and then work backwards to create a health insurance product so that uh, the, the, the underserved get the better health facilities. I think two sectors that uh, you can include, one is health insurance and definitely financial inclusion. Uh, I will say for scaling up, it is very, very important to, to generate funds from within. As long as you're dependent on an outside source, as long as you dependent, you are dependent on an outside institution or a, you know, for your own development, the scaling up will be very, very difficult. So, we need to somewhere uh, get money for the services that we provide, whatever kinds of services that we provide. We need to generate returns out of it. And I want to assure you, people, uh, the poorest of them may not be rich, but the poorest of them are ready to pay for the services that they get if it is effective, effective services. So, when you're talking of scaling up effectively, you need to give, a, give effective services and recover money for the services that is that you have provided so find out the the the, uh, the commercial part of it for whatever service we do two when you're talking of scaling up we need partners scaling up all alone is not going to be uh, it's going to be very hard task so look for partners uh, at least in the initial, you know, and especially if you're not a technologically savvy institution, there are many who can provide you support in technology f sub, uh, sector, and there are many who can fund you for that. So look for technology, and technology has many answers for many of our problems. Third, like I already told you, you have to be cost effective. No matter what um, services you give, it has to be always cost effective because this whole world, the poor or the rich, whoever, they look for uh, the, the, the services at the best rates. If you can give the services at the best rates, nothing like it.